Is Flutterflow built in Flutterflow? In this video, I'm gonna show you how the Flutterflow team uses our own product to build internal tooling. Hey, I'm Michael and I lead Marketplace. Marketplace is a library of templates where you can try and buy app templates to quickly get started on your next product. Marketplace gets dozens of submissions a week, and recently it got to a point where we needed to automate aspects of template review. So, of course, we turned to Flutterflow. I'm going to show you a sneak peek into our admin panel, our central app for operations, account management, and of course, app review, built entirely in Flutterflow. So there are three reasons we use Flutterflow ourselves. First, it helps us to build and prototype fast. I built this page in less than a day. Second, building in Flutterflow helps our team test our product. We're constantly noticing possible improvements and developing best practices just because we use our own tool. Finally, it's collaborative. In one day, five team members might work on the same project simultaneously, adding comments, making edits, or updating components in real time. Working with designers and engineers in one place is a game changer. Let's jump into this submission review page. There are a few cool things to see here. First off, dynamic page parameters. Since this is ultimately a web app, we can take a Firestore document ID as a parameter and then query for it on page load. Actually, anytime an item gets submitted for review, it triggers a Slack message, which contains a dynamic URL to the item. Next, let's talk about components. Building a page like this would just be unmaintainable without components and specifically stateful components. For instance, we have a checklist of about 40 criteria we judge each submission on. And for each one, uh, we might have automated checks that score it, plus human feedback, as well as, you know, collapsed or expanded states. Components ensure that we can follow DRY principles and make this extensible in case we need to add, change, or remove some criteria later. Next, AI. We use LLMs to guide review wherever it makes sense. For instance, uh, we can look at all text within a project to ensure elements are clearly named and understandable for users. We also use AI to score images to help prevent potential trademark infringements. And as we gain more confidence in these checks, we'll move them into the product so that users can understand usability issues as they build apps. Finally, let's test and deploy. Flutterflow makes building fast, but also testing fast. With instant reload, I can change logic or styling and quickly see what it will look like. When it's ready for the team to use, I just deploy to web in one click. So this one passes all the tests, so it's a quick approval. And in cases where the template doesn't yet meet our standards, we try to provide specific feedback so creators can quickly get their app approved. We're hoping these latest changes can help improve the review quality and turnaround time. I know, uh, there's been more and more creators submitting and, and sharing their amazing work with the world. We just want to make sure that we get these apps out there as fast as possible. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share a like and of course subscribe. Uh, next time, we might actually show which parts of the Flutterflow UI are actually built in Flutterflow.